Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are having a terrific Tuesday thus far. And so, uh, of course, in this video, I'm going to be covering what is currently going on across the North Atlantic. We got our disturbance out there. We have that rainfall increase now starting in the Northwestern Caribbean. So I'm going to be spending some time talking about that. Things are looking pretty dry over in the east. Will there be any rainfall there today? So, of course, I'm going to be covering all of that in today's updates video and so before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update okay so let's return to this satellite imagery here uh and of course there we have some activity off the coast of africa quite a bit of convective activity out there uh we also have a tropical wave that is noted out there in the tropical atlantic and uh there are two in the vicinity of the caribbean one is extended one has recently entered the region extended down into parts of uh eastern venezuela and another is extended into parts of colombia and so let's take a closer look at the caribbean and surrounding areas we want to talk about our disturbance so there it is out there not very organized right now but again i still think that it could uh manage to become a subtropical cyclone but uh as we hit later this week it is expected to drift more to the north entering much cooler waters now that is going to diminish the chances of us actually seeing something coming from it but let's see what happens with it uh heading into the next couple of days and so uh let's now go ahead and take a look at what is happening in the caribbean region and so uh we're taking a look at the eastern caribbean as well as for parts of northern south america and uh here we can definitely see some uh spots of showers and thunderstorms just north of Suriname and French Guiana. We have a bit of activity over in Guyana and also for the vicinity of Venezuela. Of course, we have that tropical wave in the region, so that could be helping to enhance some of the activity we see across the area. Uh, and now going to Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, uh, also the ABC Islands, Aruba, near Curacao, and uh, the Lesser Antilles. We're really not seeing where anything much is taking place right now. Same story for the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico so not uh, nothing much is really happening in the region and uh, we have that massive Saharan dust that has entered let's briefly go onto that map and here we can see it of course uh, when we have more of those reds and even that pink shade that is where we have more abundant Saharan dust uh, so we have some dust entering the region blanketing some islands so you guys might notice that things are looking a bit hazy out there today uh, and that would be the Saharan dust in the area so that really helps to suppress activity as well well, but it's going to be a complete contrast over in the northwest let's head over there right now and so we can see that here we have all of this shower and thunderstorm activity offshore of uh, northern central america so uh, this activity is going to be making its way into the uh into other areas such as the cayman islands cuba jamaica the bahamas maybe even parts of southern florida as well possibly and so uh why is this moving the way it is why is it not moving up to the north or moving out so let's go on to the surface chart so uh notice that we have a low pressure uh system there so that is going to be helping to pull in some of that moisture but also notice that high pressure system well off the uh, leeward islands and so something important to note is that high pressure systems they the winds within them rotate in a clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere uh, for tropical cyclones or low pressure systems uh, winds rotate counterclockwise or anti-clockwise and so uh, with the rotation of those winds and if we had this uh, being centered a bit more north of the region that would be steering activity more into uh, parts of Mexico and into the Gulf as well but that isn't the case so because of the position of this high pressure right now and the fact that we have uh, that low out there that is attached to frontal systems uh, that is why we have the activity moving the way it does and also we have the wind shear those upper level winds that uh 
typically blow from west to east. So even when we have these showers and thunderstorms developing, uh, some of that activity coming from the system, especially that outflow, is displaced uh, to the east. And so that is what we're seeing right now on satellite uh, with this here. So most of that shower and thunderstorm activity is concentrated right in the vicinity of the northwestern Caribbean. And this is going to be spreading across these different areas here as we progress throughout to the rest of this week. And so guys, uh, this could become a major concern in terms of the heavy rainfall and the flooding that is very probable uh, as this is going to be persistent within the area. And so guys, sometimes when we even have this outflow, especially with those uh, high level clouds, such as those cirrus clouds uh, on the bright side, they can create these beautiful optical phenomena, uh, such as those uh, halos around the sun, that ring, that rainbow ring around the sun uh, as a result of the refraction of light within those very tiny ice crystals, very high up in the atmosphere contained in these clouds. Uh, we sometimes see these beautiful wonders. And so guys, in terms of the rainfall expected through today, let's go on to Euro. And of course, as the map becomes more colorful, more rainfall is expected. So quite a bit of rainfall is anticipated today for parts of eastern Cuba, going to Jamaica, maybe parts of the Cayman Islands as well. Definitely for most of Central America, where we have the Yucatan, Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador, Honduras, uh, the Bay Islands, of course. And we also have uh, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, all expected to receive quite a bit of rainfall activity through today. Same story for Northern South America, all the way from Colombia, going eastward to French Guiana, expected to receive rainfall. But over in the Northeastern Caribbean, of course, again, we have that Saharan dust that is helping to suppress activity. So much rainfall activity is not expected. So uh, unfortunately, it is going to be a pretty sunny and hot day. So guys, please remember to stay hydrated and as cool as possible to avoid this heat. And so moving on to the GFS model. GFS is in agreement with this, showing some higher rainfall totals just in the vicinity of southern Belize. And so guys, uh, in the event of any heavy rainfall, please do not take any unnecessary risks. Don't attempt to cross flooded roadways. And uh, please stay safe, guys. And so of course, as this develops and uh, as time goes by, I'm going to be keeping you guys updated. And I think I'm going to be doing an evening update today. So please stay tuned for that as well. Uh, especially if there's anything major developing, any major rainfall happening anywhere, I'm, uh, I'm going to be uh, definitely doing that evening update. And so guys, that is really it for this update video. And so I hope that you found it to be very informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there as well. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.